boy another day of rain hope you guys are having a great day hopefully a better day than we are having here it's been really bad uh for oh that's not thunder it's a plane up there gone through it uh but it's been really bad here for about a week i have content lined up but i can't do anything because it's racing content and uh that requires well weather not like this but i do have an important update for you on this channel today. Uh, I did cover this on my Street Speed channel already, but many of you may have not seen that yet. So uh, I'm covering it here because it is big news. It's really big news. It's kind of sad, but there is good to go along with it. So um, welcome to the family channel. Here is the family channel update. I just took the Lambo out to Costco and I'm not joking, uh, had to pick up a cake and you can see the heat coming off the engine bay, but I do have a little garage update for you before we get into the house stuff. Both of my off-roaders are back, the baby Ram and the Corvette. Now, if you recall, the Ram uh, broke after the mud pit debacle. All it needed actually was a steering box, so not bad, uh, not a bad fix. And then the Corvette, the clutch exploded while doing some 80 mile per hour slides. The kids are getting home from school, I believe. But yes, doing some slides <laughs> in the mud. Uh, now that is fixed as well, thanks to Send It Steve. So neither one was bad. Neither one was a not a very serious injury, luckily. Uh, one more garage vehicle update, but not about one of my vehicles. We're talking about a certain red Z06. I did have to be uh, neighbor Rich's Uber driver yesterday <laughs> to, uh, bring him home because his car needed two things. Yo, what are we doing? Hey, we're having fun. I don't have the GoPro, but I had to show that we're down here having a good time. I heard you go awesome. by. Yeah. So what are we doing, Rich? What are we doing? We are doing something Woo. very exciting. We're changing out. You're getting some tires. Michelin. Yeah, we're changing out the Ooh. Michelin for a couple of our triple eights. Okay, and okay. And getting an inspection. And getting an inspection. A little right yearly. Now. I'm excited about it. I really am. All right, buddy. Get well, it done. I'll take you home. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go. Always a good time with Rich. Always a fun learning experience. Now, with the vehicle updates out of the way, let's talk about the house. Got some bad news. Well, good news about the house, bad news about the farm. The farm has been sold, guys. The farm has been sold, and it's really sad. I never thought... It would come to this, but it really is for the best. I was having some issues with neighbors. I filmed a little bit up there um, earlier that I'll show you. Okay guys, so the bad news is I have sold the farm and it's really sad. I never thought I would be doing this, but uh, there's a lot actually that's been going on behind the scenes that you guys have not heard about because I didn't wanna, number one, I didn't wanna talk about anything until it was all final. Number two, I didn't really wanna talk about the negative stuff, but it's been kind of bad up here, actually. Uh, now, I started, when I bought this land in 21, it was 20 acres up there, like five here, 25 total, and it was completely by itself, besides the neighbors. And, uh, you know, I bought the land to do Second Amendment type stuff and uh, vehicle type stuff, and, you know, I did that for a long time. Had no issues, nobody here cared. It was uh, something they were used to. This guy, I think, has a shooting range in his backyard. So very normal. However, if you watch the family channel and even on my channel, you may have noticed a huge neighborhood, big development got put in right next to my land. A big ha monster house there, a big house there, another one there. Um, you know, nothing wrong with the houses. They look good, but that's my farm right there. You know, honestly, at first, I didn't think it would be bad. I thought it'd be kind of nice because Gina does want neighbors and I like neighbors too, actually. Like not too close, but I like the idea of when we have kids, you know, I don't want to be actually in the middle of nowhere. I know some people like that and that's cool too, but I actually kind of like the whole neighborhood thing, at least, you know, somewhat. Again, not close, too close, but something where you can feel like you're part of a community and the kids can have friends and all that. Like I do actually like that. So I was kind of excited about it. 
Um, however, it got bad pretty fast. I had issues with people calling the cops. And uh, it's not even like a fifth of the way built yet. So um, then it got worse because I had somebody who bought a house over there and I had a whole video filmed, but I don't even wanna get into the legal drama and all that, I just don't. Um, luckily, none of it's bad for me. Like everything, I, I didn't do anything wrong, so I'm fine, don't worry about me. But I had somebody, I let people hunt my land because I don't care. I don't really hunt myself, but um, you know, I let people do it. My buddies, a person who bought one of the homes, actually trespassed onto my property and destroyed the guys that I let hunt the land. They destroyed their tree stands. They got it all captured on their gaming camera, their game cameras, and uh, it's a whole big thing. So they're in a, they like wanna sue the guy, they're pressing charges. And then it got worse because a neighbor here uh, got a contract to dump a ton of road waste from a highway expansion project nearby they're bringing all of that here. And it's a five year estimated project. And you know what that means, road work, estimated, in PA. I mean, I don't know if every state is as bad as PennDOT, but um, if PennDOT says it's gonna take five years, figure seven. So this one road, this is the only road into where our home would have been right here, uh, is going to have dump trucks and machinery driving on it for the next five years. And it's the only way in and out, the only way. There is no other way to go. My bad, GoPro shut off, nothing new there. Um, but yeah, there is no other way in or out. There is a stream, uh, trees, even if you could knock the trees down, you can't drive through a stream, I know that. Uh, this is the only way in and out. Um, so that's a five year issue. And there were a lot of things all coming together telling me that this is not gonna work. And, you know, I came to the realization that my dream of doing everything at one place is not realistic. Um, I wanted a space where I can drag race and build a huge, like literally a runway strip and have a home and have a neighborhood nearby. You can't do it. And uh, I guess I was kind of dumb to think I could, but it was close. However, I think I gotta be realistic. And now my goal is to find a huge piece of land farther away. That's the content land, right? We can do whatever we want and then have a different spot for the house. And really that is better, as I'm sure you're all thinking right now, that is better. You can't, you can't do both. You can't live near people and do that. Um, you know, you can't have a, a home anywhere near a neighborhood and then also do drag racing. Like that's not gonna work anywhere. And even if you have a track, like a real racetrack, people move in and complain. So it's actually a blessing in disguise. To be honest, it does suck. Like this is a, a speed bump here in the road to my dream and our dream, but it's truly a blessing because that, let, let's say we had built all that and spent all that money and then had those issues. That would have really sucked. So I'm glad it happened now and the hunt is on. It's exciting because I like hunting for land and trying to find the right thing, but this has been a, a little a little setback. But thank God and knock on wood, knock on Ram Alcantara here. Every time I've had something bad happen, or not really bad, but something out of the plans happen, I've always then gotten to somewhere better. So I really do believe things happen for a reason. And I think this is happening for a reason. I was trying to combine house with content and realistically, again, for what I wanna do, um, that was not gonna work. And I think now I can look at like a 60, 70, 80 acre property for content and really the sky is the limit there and then build something else, uh, buy something else to build our home. So. Um, I'm pumped, I'm excited, and I appreciate you guys being patient because I know it's been like a two and a half year process already. It's gonna happen and it will be worth it. I will make it happen again. This is the year. It's gonna happen this year, so get ready.